On the 30th of January 1946, a number of German generals and high-ranking members of the Wehrmacht were taken out to a public square inside of Minsk and they were led up to a large gallows that was stood there. A crowd had gathered of around 100,000 people, desperate to see the executions of those who were deemed to have been some of the most barbaric war criminals of the Second World War. But these men were said to have been responsible for the executions and slaughter of thousands of people inside of the Eastern Front and the Soviet Union during World War II. One of those who was executed in front of the huge crowd was Johann George Rickert, a man who was a German general and someone who was known to have been a despicable German brute who inflicted a huge amount of suffering. Join us today as we look at the execution of the German general and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Born on the 14th of April 1890, Johann George Rickert rose throughout the German military throughout decades serving in the armed forces. He began his career inside of the army in 1909, but then had various different roles inside of the army, and he served in the First World War. It took over three decades for Johann George Rickert to rise to the rank of general, and he would obtain this during the Second World War. During the conflict, as Hitler was ordering his armies to rampage throughout different lands, he needed a number of senior generals and military commanders to oversee a large number of soldiers who did not necessarily have the most experience on the battlefield. Johann Rickert was placed in command of a number of different divisions, and he would be known for his brutal war crimes and atrocities. Rickert would throughout his command order that all of his own soldiers who were in hospital without a physical injury or diagnosed illness should be executed. He would rule over his men with brutality and he was not willing to accept any form of shell shock, PTSD or anything related to desertion from the front lines and he saw this as a disgrace and for this Rickert ordered many of his own men to be shot by his own firing squads made up of their friends and comrades. Rickert also threatened units and commanding officers who would be defeated and would retreat during battle with execution, torture and punishment. He was ruthless with his own men, so you could imagine what Rickert would be like when dealing with prisoners of war and those who were captured by his forces. Rickert commanded the 286th Security Division that were based in the Soviet Union. This division was attached to the 4th Army and then took control of security duties in the areas following Wehrmacht advances and they would carry out brutal actions against the population of local regions. They would carry out forced deportations and transportations, and they also rounded up civilians to be executed in the same manner as the Einsatzgruppe. Inside of Belarus, a quarter of the population was slaughtered during the German occupation, and the 286th Security Division, commanded by Rickert, were responsible for the large-scale war crimes and atrocities against the civilians, leading to thousands of deaths. Rickert was also the commander of the 35th Infantry Division, and he committed large-scale war crimes during 1944, and the division did this when Rickert was in control. The soldiers were ordered to take action against partisans and civilians, and they were involved in an operation in the Gomel region of Belarus. In this, 40,000 civilians were expelled from their homes, and they were ordered out when the German army were in retreat. Around 9,000 civilians died in this. Alongside the Sonderkommando 7B of Einsatzgruppe B, Rickert led forces to expel these civilians into the Azarichi death camps. These were makeshift sites established to house thousands of people, and the crimes were described as one of the worst crimes the Wehrmacht ever committed against civilians. When the Soviets liberated the camp, they found thousands of dead bodies and freed 33,000 people, including over 15,000 children who had been forced into the death camp by Rickert's men. But as the Second World War turned further against the Germans, Rickert was arrested by Soviet forces on the 8th of May 1945. At the end of the Second World War, there was a need inside of the Soviet Union for Stalin to impose his justice and will upon the enemies of his people. The Germans and especially commanders inside of the Wehrmacht were dealt with brutally by the Soviets, 
with many being sent to gulag camps and many succumbed to the brutality of them. However, there was a feeling inside of Soviet cities that executions would be one way, that people would feel slightly reprieved because of the crimes of the German soldiers. In cities such as Leningrad, many different German war criminals were executed on gallows in front of large crowds, but Johann George Rickert was in 1946 brought to a trial by a Soviet military court in Minsk. He was charged with being a leader of a large-scale deportation, executions and the slaughter of Soviet civilians, as well as causing a huge amount of other crimes. Johann Rickert stood alongside a number of other war criminals, including General Gottfried von Erdmendorf, and the aim of the Minsk trial was to punish those who had been seized in Belarus and surrounding areas. There were 18 defendants, and these were men who had been accused of crimes against humanity in the region, which included mass execution, slaughter, and also the burning of houses and villages. General Rickert was for his actions sentenced to death, and he was seen as a terrible war criminal. But he would not need to wait long for his execution to take place. Inside of Minsk, set up was a huge gallows in a public square, and the very day after the German general had been sentenced to death, Rickert was brought out to the gallows for his execution. On the 30th of January 1946, in front of a large crowd of over 100,000 civilians who had flocked into the centre of Minsk to witness the execution of the German war criminals, Rickert was prepared for his final moments. There were people who had suffered during the Second World War, and many of the people of Minsk had seen their loved ones and family members, along with friends being deported to concentration camps, they would never return after World War II. For this they saw the German army as the ultimate evil, and the commanders such as Rickert were also seen as a devil. This is why Stalin ordered many to be executed inside of Soviet towns and cities, inside of his lands, to win over the population, and to make it seem that his justice was being carried out. The huge gallows was set up in the middle of a horse racing venue in Minsk, and General Johann George Rickert was led to the gallows, and was then led up the platform by guards, and on the scaffold the executioner was waiting for him. The executioner approached him, and also the other condemned men, and he placed a noose around the neck of Rickert before the death sentence was then proclaimed, and a short speech was made to the huge crowd about General Rickert's crimes. Following this, the executioner then removed the platform underneath the German general, and in front of 100,000 people, General Rickert was left hanging, and he was executed. General Rickert was a brutal and barbaric military officer, who during the Second World War had a number of different positions, commanding various groups of soldiers. But he was a ruthless man, who would purge his own men, to ensure they were strong-willed and minded, and he even had German men executed for trying to escape the craziness and chaos of the Eastern Front, and the brutal battlefields. He was a man who carried out thousands of forced deportations, and he would then be responsible for huge war crimes, but Rickert was on the 30th of January 1946, at the age of 55, brought to his execution for his crimes, and because of this, the horrific German general got his comeuppance. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.